In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite spots, maybe the best spot to farm for level 31 through 23 gear on a random loot server like Thornblade or Mischief. There may be others in the future, but at the making of this time of making this video, those are only two servers. Once again, we're back at Najina, which is a dungeon that didn't get much love in the past, but now this is one of the best kept secrets out there. You may have seen my Rehotep video, and I see people there every day just farming him like crazy. So anyway, this dungeon right here is really good. It's a little secret here. I'm going to break down why this is such a good camp. And even when I come in here to this day, when all the other spots are camped in a dungeon, nobody knows about this spot. And there's a couple of reasons why it's not so obvious. But now that you know about it, you'll see what's so good about it. Okay, so first of all, let me show you how to get to Officer Gresh. He's down here near Trazdon and Bonecracker. Okay, so if you are in your, I would say, mid-20s um, and uh, you want to get up to level 31 loot, and that means the Pearl Kedge Totem or the Reed Belt or the Charred Guardian Shield and all that, and you want to get it the easy way, this way is such an easy way. Now, currently the level spread is about four levels, three to four levels, on these random loot TLP servers. That may change. We don't know if they're going to change or nerf that, but this is really good. This is a six-minute spawn timer dungeon so the nice thing about it is he can spawn um, 10 times per hour at the maximum doesn't happen that way but you'll get him a couple times per hour sometimes you get unlucky sometimes it, he pops four times in a row so let's talk about the other camps first real quick so you can see them on the map the other camps you have in here are Najina and then you have the other one down here Drelzna. Drelzna is not a good camp because in that camp she's she's 25 and she has two necromancers it's basically the same thing as a bone cracker camp and you have to have a key okay um, the other one is Ekaros and Rathal down there there's not a, a lot you really want down there that's a little bit lower level uh, Rathal can drop some stuff but it's basically the same thing as Trazdon so if you watch a Trazdon video you'll realize that he's the best one for that because at his level you don't need a key to get down there you just waltz right in there and you can just kill him and he spawns so many times in a row but today I'm going to expand that and show you an even better spot. So let's go here. Follow along with me and I'm going to show you how to get there. We're going to make this quick. If you watch the video to end, you'll see some of the loot. I'm going to include clips directly from the TLP server showing you the kind of loot that drops. Eye popping loot and a reason for all you casuals out there to get on this server and play because loot that you could never get before like charred guardian shield, uh, the reed belt, or the pearl catch totem things that you had to pony up with your chronos you can now get it yourself and this is what the game's all about it's about getting the loot yourself i'm glad they put this in so you see how i come down here like this if you're having trouble just pop the height filter like this the way i approach this area is a little different okay so what you can do is some people like to approach it this way but let's go ahead and break down why it's not a good idea you have a dark bone skeleton you got to fight him you got to fight two elementals okay and then over here you might have a guard right there look there's three in here and officer grush obviously this character is a higher level and it's here to show you how to approach this so what i like to do instead is i like to go this way you go in here and in here there's this guard you want to kill this guard if he's up most likely it'll be camped and once you kill him then you know you have this guy you can take him single so you're not going to get doubles or anything in your high 20s you shouldn't have a problem and then at that point, if you have somebody like a, uh, an enchanter or you have a cleric in your group, they can pacify this one here and they can pacify this one. These two ogres are easily pacified. They vary in range. You see how low they are. And if they're really low level, like they're both 15s, you can single pull. Now, you can go back here and if you line it up just right like this, see this little slot here? How you can target Officer Grush you can pull him straight towards you right here and these guys in this room will not aggro the guard captain who is level 27 you don't want to aggro him or the priestess sometimes who spawns here is level 30. so that's my preferred way of breaking this room up is to get the slot right here kill this guy right here he is usually of the teens and then go ahead and pull officer grush i want to warn you officer grush will cast things uh shaman type things like a poison 
and those kind of things. So just be ready for that. Uh, and he has a lot of hit points. He is level 27. There we go. Notice he is a rare creature. And this rare creature has a chance to drop loot, like I said, up to 31. Although I've got level 30 loot and I've got level 24 loot too. So it's, it depends. It's like three level spread. So here is Officer Grush's loot table right here uh, that he shares. His loot table that is shared or a shared loot table. So he shares from the uh, Fire Goblin bartender. Look at all the items that he drops. And he will drop uh, th at least three levels below and three levels higher. But here's where it gets really interesting. Some of the, the loot is really good as level, like the imp skin gloves and so forth. But if we scroll down like this and you get all the way into 30, take a look at what he starts dropping. Pearl Kedge Totem and the Reed Belt. And this is, was a very difficult item to get in the, the old days. But now you can get Officer Grush, you could get experience and everything, and you can get this item here. Take a look at some of these things in here that are just really, really good. Um, you know, you can get the cloak of leaves off him, and there is one more item. If Quillman, Pegasus Feathered Cloak here, this drops off him, and you'll see in the clips that this will be in there. Charred Guardian Shield in there. Uh, lots and lots of nice stuff. Gator Scale Leggings, this is a horrible camp. Like the ancient croc only spawns like every 15, 16 minutes, but you can get Officer Grush who spawns every six minutes because he's in a newbie dungeon. And look at this. It goes all the way up to 31 potentially, although I haven't really seen a lot of this 31 stuff, but I have seen the ghoul bane off him in addition. And this uh, broken minotaur, Lord's Horn has dropped, feathered leggings, all this stuff. So this is really good. Now let's go a little bit below him real quick. And he can drop stuff uh, three levels below him. And look at how much. is almost a page worth of stuff from 27 to 25. Look at how good it is. Just take a look at what, what can drop off there. And uh, you can go down here. It's potentially up to 24. So he can drop the rune circlet and the foreman's tunic. All these things. So he's a great uh, one to camp right here, guys.